Psychological Services. Yes, Shonda, this is Gary Thompson calling. Just, Hi, Gary. Howdy. Just to congratulate uh, Vivian Lee on being hired by the uh, Durham Paramedics. Oh, okay. Uh, post traumatic stress. And there's a lot of needless post traumatic stress happening. Mm -hmm. They've taught millions of people all the signs of breathing emergency and then give chest compressions to people who are alive. EMS yeah. par paramedic. Yeah. Yeah. You know about it? Um, do I know about it? Yeah, we are yeah. clinic specializer in working with yeah. first responders, so yeah. Yeah, and they, they definitely see a lot of stuff they shouldn't have to see. Yeah, I know, and it's needless because, you know, every paramedic, every child knows if you have a breathing emergency, you give them air, but they've taught millions of laypersons to give chest compressions to people who are alive. You can look it all up on my Twitter. There's a bill in front of the legislature. Okay, what was your name? Gary Thompson, G-A-R-Y-T-H-O-M-P-S-O-N. I've been published in all the medical journals, emergency medicine news. I was published in the 2015 resuscitation guidelines. Okay. Health Canada just removed rescue breathing from their protocols. I got a letter from the executive director at Health Canada. Really? Yeah. It's all up on my Twitter at Gary CBR. Okay. G A R. Did you have a message you wanted to leave for Dr. Lee or? Well, you know, somebody should just stand up because everyone should be worried about their own life. There's hundreds of causes of respiratory emergency through illness or injury, and you won't be able to stop them because you'll be in a coma, and these laypersons are eagerly giving you chest compressions as instructed by a doctor. Right? They think they're saving your life. I know parents that have killed their own children. I know parents that have committed suicide because they found out they killed their own children. You've taught millions of people. They've been published in the newspapers. You get taught by a nurse. They taught the high school teachers to do it. They taught the librarians to do it. And I don't know why when they take the training, it's up to 90 minutes long, why they can't figure out that person's alive and needs rescue breathing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At, Gary, at Gary CPR, check it out. It's costing okay. you. It's costing the taxpayer an untold fortune because there's so many left with permanent brain damage, and then there's going to be a class action suit against the government worth billions, and the taxpayer pays for it because they're suing the government. Anyway, if you want to get in contact, here's my phone number. Okay. Six four seven. Eight six four. Okay. Six six zero nine. Okay. You want my email? Sure. Letter J. Gary G A R Y. Okay. Dot Thompson T H O M P S O N. Mm -hmm. At mail M A I L. Dot U Toronto. Dot C A. Okay. Were you interested in speaking with Doctor Lee or? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I'll talk to anyone. Okay. I don't know why everyone isn't screaming. Okay. Because do you know if you're how? you're not interested in treatment, then you just want to talk about. Oh no, the, the, I have a I had a psychiatrist taking upgrading in my neuroscience class. Oh okay. She okay. said she said in front of the whole class, Gary's the sanest person in the whole province trying to stop mass murder. I says, Doctor, what about you? She says, Leave my name out of it. That's a psychiatrist. Okay. <laughs> I know, I had the Dean of Medicine say that I'm the greatest thing since sliced bread, but nobody stops it. Anyway, you have a great day, eh? July the 4th, 2019, the doctor is now working with the Peel paramedics. Post-traumatic stress, a lot of that happening nowadays. Police department, fire department, and a lot of it's caused because of this. They taught millions of people to do that. Give chest compressions to someone who's alive and dying, lack of oxygen. They're there doing it. And it's a no brainer. A child knows that's murder. Plain and simple. Deny rescue breathing from any breathing emergency patient, they die. Give them chest compressions to the people who are alive.
That's murder. Plain and simple. Nothing wrong with your heart. You're having to breathe in an emergency. Mm mm mm. Don't pound out a beat heart. Places just like Nazi Germany can't save your own lives. Living in denial. Breathing emergency. Think about it. Rescue breathing or chest compressions. Mm. Breathing emergency. Anesthesiologists overdose you on all kinds of different things. The only thing keeping you alive during surgery is ventilation, so rescue breathing. They're all being mass murdered. And then deny it.